Hello guys, this is Jebro, and I'm doing a little video to show you just some thoughts and just some stuff that I do with my engineer and the way that I kind of learn and my build which I change and I actually use the same, pretty much the same build between World v World PvE and SPVB and I'll show you why and um, this is just a little video I just wanted to do randomly um, because I thought it'd be nice and I only just realised myself how much I use the same traits and change all my traits up and not really change my gear so if you're skin or if you're poor and you're an engineer and you're a bit like me and uh, you don't PvE that much, haven't gone into World v World as much as I would love to um, I'm more of a PvP whore but um, yeah basically at the moment as you can see I'm using Hold me, a bomb kit and a grenade kit, and also the flamethrower just there. Um, also, supply crate as my elite. So, this is my kind of world v world roaming build, I guess. Um, I'd normally also probably go, I'll probably just get rid of that and I'll just put the toolkit in or something as a bit more defense, you know. Or I change them up. It just depends what situation I'm in. If I'm in a keep fight or whatever, if I'm roaming, I'll probably use tool um, toolkit a lot more or I'll also use elixir gun as well. If I'm in a group, I might use more supportive stuff as well because actually I run uh, a different build. I actually run kind of an altruistic healing build, even though I've not got much healing power. It's more for the boons and also offering. Um, up different, yeah, just just some healing as you can see. Ah, sorry, on the six piece, we uh, giving the actual fury to nearby allies as well. Five seconds, uh, the cooldown's only 10 seconds as well, which is pretty good. And the heal's quite quick, so I feel like it's actually quite good for this. Um, and I love altruistic healing, um, runes as well. Or oh, sorry, the uh, rune of altru altruism, um. And I just like it. I've got a little bit of healing up as well. Boon duration is nice. And I feel that this really, really, really works well um, with the turrets as well. So when I'm in dungeons, say, or I'm in close quarters fights as well, or I know I want to be, uh, I'll probably use um, a range of my thumper turrets and also maybe fl the flame turret just because I'm more con condition damage kind of oriented, even though, you know, I've got... Um, a lot of precision there as well so I mean I, I do use different things I mean I've got power as well but you know it's it's all kind of even it's not too bad or right, I've got a bit more power than I've got condition damage but I mainly try and do condition damage if I possibly can and, and with the crit hits get burning and whatnot as in my traits but I guess I'm kind of trying to go for a celestial stat wise because then you can just use you know you can use whatever you want pretty much really um so i've gone for like general stats of like precision toughness and condition damage i want to get all can all uh, celestial gear really if i possibly can i've got some um ascended bits and pieces here as well as you can see i've got the uh, spinal blades which has got the healing power on it as well um and also got the rings, the rabid ring with the healing power and the toughness. So the, the stats are really, you know, varied across the board. Um, also got that random gun. Um, but I'm going to go into, I'm just going to show you my traits at the moment, how they are in the open world. Um, so it's 6006 tube. And this is kind of a typical PvP build as well. And... Um, you know, automated response is really for that condition damage, condition uh, to get it down on myself because condition removal is really, really poor on NG and I don't care about that. I'm not going to moan about it. I think it's a good thing because I think they've got a lot of strengths and this is a weakness that I think classes need to have and it's an important thing they need to have. Um, so I do run this a lot when running in World of Warcraft, especially roaming as well because I've got speedy kits so I'm going to be moving fast, I can't really use turrets because you know it's such a big open field that you can just run away and they're completely useless. Okay I can get the boons and the altruism runes will help but at the end of the day they can just run away from my turrets, it kind of sucks but hey ho. Um, Deal more damage, extra boons on you, that's always good. Um, so incoming conditions have a chance to convert into boons. My boon duration is a lot higher than it would normally be because of these runes set as well, so that's quite nice. Backpack regenerator, you know, similar reason I'm going to be getting a lot more HP back, 136. A lot more than you get in the SPVP build. Um, also, you know, speedy kits, you know, that that's uh, the synergies there with the uh, vigor regen, also getting the speed up. And of course, as we know, bombs and mines have a larger explosion radius. Um, critical hits inflict burning. There you go. 
uh, Grenadier, uh, sorry, Grenadier, um, also gives me more grenades, which is going to be really good on those fights when I'm kind of on top of um, keeps or whatever I'm at range and I want to try and keep them there. Um, it's quite nice as well. It's quite good with uh, combination with the fun sorry, in PvE and dungeons. I'll use the turrets. Definitely. I love using turrets in um, dungeons. They're very supportive as well. And I'll also might even go into this straight line here to get the uh, domes on the turrets. But specifically, sorry, I'll go into experimental turrets. Um, I might keep that if I decide to stay in bombs and change different traits. But more often than not, I will go into uh, accelerant pack turrets. So when they explode, it does um, push back foes. Which is good if there's many mobs on you in dungeons and whatnot, or fractals or other things um, and this is my build that I'm kind of playing in SPVP as well so what I'm going to do is this is all live recorded so I don't edit this when you see me doing this and I make do silly things and look silly then this is just me doing it live because I really don't have the time unfortunately to sit and edit and do stuff I actually have a job I have two jobs <laughs> so I'm going to jump into uh, the mists now and the reason I put the camera up as well is so that you can see me um, just give it more of a personal feel, I guess. So you just tell me if you think it looks bad or you don't like seeing my face, which is fine. Make me sad, but hey ho, what can you do? Um, right, so as you can see, I do have the Ascended Shield, which I got by the way from SPVP reward tracks. Spoiler if you haven't seen that video. Um, <laughs> So basically, okay, we, what we're going to do is we're going to go through my build very quickly here. Um, I have changed it considerably. I always change my build, and this is another build that I play, but I had, this is the one I've kept for quite a while. So what it is, is a condi condition damage um, turret build, and uh, this might be the one I put in the... Um, as a build link below but what basically it is is the shield and the pistol of course um, the pistol giving you the poison damage which is very good and also static shot which is going to apply that confusion uh, magnetic, magnetic shield of course as well is really really good for that blast and also uh, static shield also very very useful um, trying to get that daze off as much as I can really but also just you know escaping trying to yeah mitigate some damage so what I basically do with this build is I have grenades there um, I also then use Fumper turret and I use da, 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 we'll use flame turret this is because it's condition based and this is also because of the rune I use so what I'm using on my sigil is sigil of doom so your next attack when you swap to this um, weapon in combat inflicts poison so I've got to be careful when I switch back to the pistol that I don't just start going straight into poison dart volley because um, I'm going to get another 6 seconds of poison with that so I'll switch back 6 or 7 seconds later um, I'll then start using poison dart volley to keep up that poison and then I'll probably even go into grenades to keep that poison ticking over again so sigil of energy standard get more vigor back it's debatable whether or not you need to use that because I'm getting speedy kits bigger. Um, so you can really mix it up with that and just kind of play around. I'm not saying this is the best build. This is just the way I play and the way I love to play my energy. Rune of Balthazar is really, really good. And a lot of people are using it on engineers in SPVP and it's kind of roaming and stuff as well. But it's not really got that kind of protection that you want, you need, I guess, um, if you're roaming around. But it gives you extra condition damage. Conditions, obviously, I'm doing a lot of conditions. Um, burning duration is nice when I crit, um, as you'll see in my traits I am going to be doing some burning, so the extra burning duration is very nice. Um, it synergizes well with this build especially, and this is, you know, this trait lines are used a lot by NGs in different ways. But I'm trying. What I'm trying to show you is that you can use these trait lines in World v World PVE and SPVP, and even use different builds around these trait lines in SPVP and World v World and such. Um, so as you can see, my force set, sorry, 15% burning duration when you're struck below the 20% health gain, quickness, and for 5 seconds. Not a biggie, quickness is very useful of course, um, especially if you're trying to res, or if you're trying to down and whatnot. Um, 100 extra condition damage, not to be laughed at, that's very good as well. And the final bit, which is good, 20% burning duration increase um, when you use, and also when you use a healed skill, you also burn foes around you for 6 seconds. Cool down is 6, 10 seconds, and um, healing, you know, cool down on that is pretty good.
Let's pick it up. I'll show you what the cooldown is. 15 seconds. If you blow it up, it's 20. So it's a really nice cooldown for that. We're also going to go for the rabid amulet. Um, um, essentially, what these what these utilities do, I'll go through the utilities as well very quickly. Um, of course, you've got the different grenades, shrapnel grenade, uh, flash grenade as well, good for the blinds. I use that a lot for downing. Um, freeze grenades to get the chill on, also um, lower their cool, sorry, make increase the cooldown of people's abilities. Poison, of course, um, is always good to keep, try and keep poison on your targets, which is also why I use that in combination with the pistol and also the sigil of doom. Um, then I go over to the farm potato. Sorry, so putting that down um, will give me boons when I actually switch it over. That'd be useful. <laughs> I'll show you that boon again in a sec. So, um, what happens with this build is I'll show you just quickly change this over because that's actually incorrect completely. Um, but li look, well, that's literally all I've done. Change those two traits. That's all I do in this build, really. Um, and as you can see, when I put the flame turret down, that gives me three stacks of might because it's fire. Fire fields obviously give you might. And then when you press, um, when you press it again, as it says there, overcharging your flame turret releases a smoke screen that blinds you off nearby foes. Um, when that happens and it actually does pop off, I can show you as well. You can actually blast that to get some uh, stealth as well. So that's a nice little. So it's like kind of having a smoke bomb on the floor as well when that activates. Um, Fun Patara, again, when you put that down, you do get protection and also you do get the overcharge, um, which launches nearby foes. Now, that does have a blast. Um, doesn't always work, if I'm honest. Uh, it doesn't feel like it works all the time. But that's two blasts it's supposed to have, or one big blast, and then the two not. So I'm not sure exactly how that works, because sometimes it doesn't seem to work. Um, but test it out, have a go, see how you go. Um, of course, one thing, a couple of things that are really good with this combination as well is to have rumble. Now, rumble is good for stability, but the main reason I use it, of course, well, actually, is good for stability because, especially if you're against necros, and they come in, pardon me, and they use signet on you, and they put all the conditions on you, and then fear you, and you are screwed. There is nothing you can do, but I've got that stability and that stun break, and it is so good because... What I'll do is I'll use that stun break and then I'll use my heal and I will just get the hell out of there. I might even put Fomper Turret down if they're chasing me trying to and use that. And I'll escape nearly most of the time as long as I've got Rumble off cooldown. Of course there is a lot of blasts in this build. This is one thing that's good. Um, Throw Napalm is also very good with, in conjunction with Flame Turret because it actually does give you a uh, flame field on the floor as you can currently see there. I'm going to use a couple of blasts just to... Um, kind of show you how that's going to work so going to put that down okay there's a I really hit you have to practice it and I failed there because I'm doing this live <laughs> but I get I did get uh, six stacks of my sorry and I didn't put down the uh, flame type to get more so if I put that down now um, and also there is this combination with the supply crate which will get all these types give you boons as well so as you can currently see I have many boons around me and if you do that in um, PVE and you put down the supply crate it's gonna give you all of these boons for all of your uh, team Mates, which is really really good um, this is why I like it and this is why I like it in PvE because supply crate is just a massive boon offensive for your team um, and it really really helps in terms of regen and protection as well um, so happy days with that just gonna blow all those up apologies if you can hear some noise in the background um, but basically that's kind of that I'm gonna go through the traits again because I'm paranoid that I didn't go through them all um, properly really so it's standard I mean I gone through you've seen them time after time with these builds um, invigorating speed when you gain swiftness you gain vigor that goes hand in hand speedy kits as per usual um, backpack regenerator regenerate health every second when using a kit so when you're in um, sorry grenade kit keep switch switch it around um, you can be gaining uh, 117 healing Health, sorry, which is really, really nice. Obviously, it's going to help um, when you're running around the map. Um, 
accelerant packed turrets is really good so explode when killed and they do do knockbacks now that's really good if people are going for the down and they're trying to cleave the targets oh and i've got no knockbacks i will put turret down actually just so that i can explode it myself or that if they um destroy it they knock it then even knock themselves black back with the actual cleave damage they're doing so it's kind of good when you want to get a knockback but not intentionally i guess um have a look at you know these that's the standards these are all standard as normal incendiary powder critical hits and fleet burning i've got a lot of crit um which is good which is so i'm normally burning quite a lot and it's important with that um synergy with the uh, rune as well uh, grenadier you throw grenades further and each grenade kit skill produces an extra grenade which is obviously something you need when you're going grenades if you're not using that trait then you're not doing it properly and you just don't um <laughs> but you can use do whatever you want as long as you're having fun and uh, this is the way i play um and this is the build i this is the variant of this build that i play in spvp and it's so much fun uh, i can range i can put my turrets at points i can leave my fun turret here um I can run over to another point, you know, say like I'm a foe fire, there's my turret over there. I can activate it or activate and push the um, foes off that are, that are potentially in front of me. They're going to at least have to use stability or something to make sure they're not going to get um, hit by that or some kind of block. So they're going to be using a big ability just to block that one hit from that fun turret. Even if they get up and go back into the point, they've got to use something again to make sure that they're... Um, going to be able to stand the point so that's quite good so that helps so it's really good that, that in those kind of situations where i need to really kind of watch a point but i can't i need to go, try and support with grenades at range so that's why i like using uh, grenades with turrets in terms of um switching this up again in, in the pvp situation um there's really a couple of things you can do. I mean, what I'd probably do is I go for forceful explosives, and then I'd probably change if I, if there's a necro or I know there's a condition heavy team, and I know the people that I'm playing against. I'll go for automated response as well because, like I said, condition uh, removal is a bit pants for engineer, but that's fine. I'm not moaning about that. Um, it doesn't bother me. I'll keep grenades. I'll probably go for uh, a toolkit, and I'll probably go for bombs if I'm honest. Um, People are loving Elixir Gun. I'm still not convinced about Elixir Gun being so good because at the end of the day, I want to be doing damage. Um, if I've got Elixir Gun and whatnot, I'm putting heal, healing down and surviving. But it feels like as an engineer, like the main reason they're kind of out of the meta at the moment is people are focusing too much on the survival um, and less on the damage. And I've been seeing a couple of guys that people have got the balls to really try damage builds and stuff. And engineers are a lot more effective in that way because they, you know, they they're gonna die anyway. They they're easily killed if you can get a lot of condi conditions on them. But if you can kill, if you can, if you're an engineer in your one v one versus a necro, if you can power them down or you can condition them down, then you're going to win the fight. So you need to try and get that extra damage. So having things like, you know, fire fields that you can blast to get extra might is always a really, really good thing. Um, and also bombs uh, to get people off the point as well. Um, poison, smoke grenades as well for extra stealth. You know, there's, there's you know, there, I've got things in this build that I can use, um, which, you know, kind of... Fumpatar and other stuff might give me, you know, that's going to give me stealth. There's my stealth right there. I can extend it if I really want to. Um, I've got the combo fields. I love combo fields with Engie. I think it's a really, really powerful and strong thing that people need to be using a lot more with engineers, especially. So, guys, that's basically it. I just want to say that uh, this is a, the build I use for everything 60062 World of World, PvP, and PvE variants with turrets. Stick the Fumper turret in there, stick the uh, Flame turret in there. You can stick other turrets in there, say um, a Net turret as well. If you can you can keep that on the point in SPVP, that's going to keep them out of the point. Um, then they need to use a stun breaker and they run onto the point. Then Fumper turret, you can use that and you can run back in range still when they're, when they're netted. Get, get your grenades down on the floor and you, you're good. It's fun to play. Not necessarily the best build, but turret builds are coming up, guys. And... Uh, yeah, just start playing with them because I really think they're going to start getting into the meta. I hope, anyway. But basically, guys, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, different variations. What do you do in World of World? What do you do in PvE? What do you do in PvP? Tell me. Let me know. If you hated it, if you hated seeing my face.
That's fine. Say that as well. But thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you very soon for another video from Jebro. Don't forget to add me on Twitter at JebDan. Good day, good evening, good night.